सो हेलो गाइज टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द स्लेनियम कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक हाउ टू डू अ माउस ओवर इन स्लेनियम एंड द क्लासेस विच इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर माउस ओवर राइट आई विल टॉक अबाउट दैट एंड वन गुड न्यूज फॉर यू सो आई हैव सेग्रीगेटेड माई प्ले लिस्ट राइट आई हैव अरेंज ऑन माई प्ले लिस्ट सो नाउ फॉर यू गाइज इट्स वेरी इजी टू गो थ्रू माई प्ले लिस्ट राइट जस्ट वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज you need to subscribe my channel and you need to uh, 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 bookmark this this youtube url okay always play at 720 to have the better visibility better visibility right now uh, uh i'll just show you so if i'll go to my playlist this is my url this is my playlist url right so now if we'll browse this playlist you can see that the segregation selenium video is now these are the selenium videos then these are the data structure videos these are the core java videos and if you we'll click on here you will get you will get you know every module so you can uh, do that view seven more and it will uh, you know load each and every module see it's like it's very systematic now module 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right or or you can what you can do is this is a drop down so so you can click on any drop down which you want to have like let's say i want to have created core java programming for interview i'll click on this and i will have 13 videos inside that so now going forward it's very easy okay you can go to my playlist and you can select the topic which you you want to study okay which you want to study so you can just go go to my playlist click on this drop down and you can select whatever you want to study so it's very easy now now i will talk about how to uh, do uh, mouse over in in selenium right so assume that this is flipkart site and when we browse this site and when we hover on any navigation menu when we hover on it right it opens a pop up right and it has links and other informations so i need to hover on that to do that selenium has one class called action class so action class is responsible for mouse over right action class is responsible for mouse over so what i will do is first i will get the code of this electronics so i have firepath installed in my uh, in my in my system right so i think you guys of aware of how to install the firepath and 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 firebug it's very simple you can go to the google here google you can go into the google <coughs> and you can just type here uh, uh, firebug first so you need to type a firebug firebug for the firefox okay click on that and click on this add ons okay and add this or add ons uh, to your browser right so once you will click on add this will get add to your browser and then it, then it will ask you to restart your browser then what you can do is after firebug you can go for firepath right so again click on the firepath and click on the add ons again this will get added to your browser and it will ask you to restart right after that what you can do is just press f12 so whenever you will you will, you will press f12 one pop up will open here you can see that one option called fire path so you will click on this box you click on show entire dom right and here you can see that the x path so here you will select x path you will get x path you will select css path you will get a css path right here uh, do not check this generate absolute x path do not check this checkbox if it uh, if it if it select this checkbox it will generate entire x path so what i need to do is i need to get the x path of this so just click on this icon this mouse icon and hover on the electronics so if you hover on this you will get this x path so this is the x path for electronics so what i will do is i will start with the coding part so i have test ng class here i will create the the reference of the web driver web driver driver 
so here what I am doing that is I am creating the reference of web driver right so web driver is a super class of all the Firefox driver Chrome drivers Safari driver so web driver is a super class and web driver is a interface which means uh, all the methods which presents in the web driver is implemented by your browsers is implemented by your browser classes right so whatever method presents in the web driver is implemented by your browser classes I will show you you will come to know exactly like how uh, how it has been implemented right so since I am creating the reference of web driver here I can write driver is equal to this should be a small is equal to new Firefox driver control space bar and you can write this new Firefox driver right so here what happens is when we write web driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver and Firefox driver is a class right Firefox driver is a class which which internally implements all the method of web driver right so what are the methods in the web driver if you'll go inside the web driver guys i'm focusing on all this because this is the basic of selenium which i wanted to make the video because uh, i got a lot of mail from a lot of my uh, uh, the channels viewer they were saying that these are the basic questions they are getting asked in the interview or they are not able to answer it right so i think going forward you will be able to answer it so web driver is a interface which has all an unimplemented method so if you'll go inside the web driver uh, web driver actually uh, interface you can see that you know all unimplemented method so if you'll go inside that you can see that get is un unimplemented get current url is unimplemented get title is unimplemented you can see that all the methods find elements unimplemented right so you can see all the methods uh, find element unimplemented get page uh, get page source close quit right so these are the get window handle switch to so these are all unimplemented method okay this this uh, uh, actually these methods are not implemented right inside that you have something called options interface you have add cookies delete cookies right these are, then you have another interface inside that timeouts so timeout is a different interface inside web driver interface it's like inner interface you can see that so it has implicit weight set a script timeout right so you'll have one method called set a script timeout you can set the a specific time for the script when you want to timeout right so these are the methods these are the unimplemented methods right uh, present in the web driver now when we make the object of firefox driver right when we make the object of firefox driver basically firefox class has implementations of all web driver methods right so if you go inside the firefox driver class you can see that this firefox class right internally extends remote web driver and implements scalable right so this firefox extends some other class remote web driver and implements scalable okay so if you go inside remote web driver you can see that the implementations class of all the method here right you can see the implementations class of all the methods here whatever method we use we can see the implementations here so i will show you so when we use selenium.get and when we supply the url you can see that internally uh, it calls the method execute right and which takes two argument and it calls your uh, you know url similarly you have get title so get title also calls the method execute right so wherever you see you this execute method is getting called right this execute method is getting called and when you see this execute basically so what it does is you know it basically uh, internally it creates the object of the command 
and uh, it creates a thread basically right and and it executes your the code which you want to execute so what happens is why i am showing all this is i just wanted to explain you whenever you make the object of any uh, browser basically you the browser has internally the implementations of all the method which you are going to use right it has the implementations now driver dot get get text the url which we want to fetch so what i'll do i'll use flipkart.com so when i use flipkart get right it will get the url and then i will put some implicit wait so implicit wait what it does is it will wait for the particular time suppose if dom of the page or if object of the page is not loaded it will wait uh, till particular time and even it is not loaded in that time there will be a, there will be a timeout for that you have something called driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicit wait here you can write maximum wait for 15 seconds and you can supply timeout dot seconds right so i will i will not supply in milliseconds i will supply in the seconds so i am saying that maximum time you you wait for 15 seconds if my page is not loaded it will get timed out okay and then what i will do is driver dot find element by dot x path and in this x path i will copy this x path for electronics because here i have to mouse over dot perform okay so so i can say that this is my electronics web element so this will return me the web element and then to do a mouse over uh, we have actions classes action class present in the selenium okay so what we need to do is since action is a class so to access the method of the class we have to make the object of the class so what we will do is to make the object of the class you know that we have to use new operator right you have to use new operators and you have this actions classes right actions classes so you have to use new operator and you create the object of actions class which will take driver as an argument which will take driver as an argument and you can make one reference variable to store the reference of, of this object so I'm making one reference variable actions and now what I will do is this actions class has one method move to element it has one method move to element where I want to move I want to move to the electronics right dot it has another method called perform so when we call the perform method this perform method internally calls build dot performs so if you go inside that you can see that this perform methods internally called build dot perform which means though you are not writing here build dot perform this will work fine if you want to write you can write dot build dot perform because these are the these are the internal methods which is called even the move to element basically this is a method move to element is a method present in the actions class so this method basically returns the actions object okay this method returns the actions object which means this method returns the object of the actions class that is the reason we are able to call another method because this move to element will return the object of the action class right so since it is returning the object of the actions class on that act, uh, since it is returning the object of actions class so on that object i can call another method perform because if you look at the perform also it comes under you know actions class it comes under actions class 
so that's how we can do the mouse over now if i right click if i run as a test ng you will come to know that how mouse over works okay you will come to know that how mouse over works so it will do a navigation of flip card and then it will do a mouse over see it is doing mouse over on the electronics item right and mouse over is happening so that's how you need to do a mouse over and that's how no mouse over, right so uh, one by one i will cover all the topics okay so today today i'll do only mouse over because i have some other task which i need to finish okay so thank you for watching this guys if you like this uh, video please hit like button subscribe my channel like my facebook page right which i have shown on my very first uh, uh, first uh, session thank you for watching